Hello world, Shelly here, and today I would like to give you guys an update on my very favorite sunscreens. It's getting to be that time of year. It is 87 degrees outside today, one of the first truly hot days, and I'm super excited because I love summer. Even though we skipped over spring, and spring is my favorite season, I forgive ya because summer and... Let's get into this. I have a couple of older videos that go into some of the nerdy details about sunscreen, what it is, how it works, what the different kinds are. I will link those up here and down below just in case you guys would like to check them out. Warning, my hair's probably blonde. They were a while ago. But I want to give you guys an update to my favorites, one of which was a favorite of mine back then a couple years ago when I filmed that video. So the Products that I've got here are some sunscreens, some sunscreen setting sprays, and some touch-up powders with SPF. Because the thing about sunscreen is that just because you put it on in the morning does not mean it lasts all day. So you really do, if you're going to be outside, need to be reapplying. And how do you reapply if you've got a full beat face going on? So that's what we're going to address today. I want to make a point, first off, sunscreen is the most important part of your anti-aging skincare routine that you can possibly have and you should be wearing sunscreen every single day and I don't care how old you are watching this video. If you're old enough to watch this video, you should be wearing sunscreen every single day. Every single foundation review I do where I start out by complaining about the driving side of my face having sun damage is because I didn't wear sunscreen every day and I started avoiding the sun at the age of 19. I'm pretty pale. All I do is burn. I never tan. So I learned that by the time I was 19 and then stayed out of the sun and I put sunscreen on every time I was like going outside for extended periods of time. But I didn't put it on every day because I thought I'm just in my car, I'm inside at work, I'm only running to my car, you know, through the parking lot, I'm not really outside, right? Yeah, from driving, I got wicked sun damage, sunspots, texture, only on half my face. Wear your sunscreen every single day. The sun does the most damage to our skin. It not only causes skin cancer, but it does photo aging. It creates aging damage to your skin. Just wear your sunscreen every day. I cannot say it enough. It's probably my only true regret in life is that I did not start wearing sunscreen daily sooner than I did. I started in my mid thirties. I should have started a long time sooner. The other issue that I want to point out is that you need to apply a heck of a lot of sunscreen in order to get the stated SPF on the package. How much is a heck of a lot? Well, most packages say to apply it liberally. What does that mean? A half teaspoon just on your face. Look how big this is. Half teaspoon of product on just your face. Another half teaspoon on your neck and chest. Half teaspoon just on your face. That's a ton of sunscreen. So how do you pull this off and still wear makeup on top? It's not difficult. Put your half sunscreen, half teaspoon of sunscreen on at the end of your skincare routine. So it goes after your serums, after your moisturizer, then put your sunscreen on. Let it sink into your face for about five to 10 minutes. So the way I do it is I do my skincare before I get dressed, then while I'm getting dressed, my sunscreen and everything else is sinking into my mug and that takes care of it. This is a lot of product. A half teaspoon is, go get yourself a half teaspoon and look at it. Squirt your sunscreen in there. Compare it to how much you normally use, it's a lot. The other thing people wonder is if you combine products, are you actually adding higher SPF? So like if I put on an SPF 50 as my morning sunscreen, and then later on I apply an SPF 45 setting powder, am I gonna have the equivalent of SPF 95? No, you're going to have the equivalent of whatever the highest F SPF you put on your face. So if the highest SPF you put on was a 50, you're gonna get SPF 50 coverage assuming you applied enough of that product to get the fully stated SPF. Now that that's out of the way, all of those little disclaimers, wear your sunscreen every day. So let's take a look at some of my favorites. Now at the end of my morning skincare routine, my two favorites are these guys. You saw this recently in my monthly favorites. I think it was in my April favorites. This is from Make P Rem. This is a Korean beauty brand. It's an SPF 50 sunscreen. I like it because it's a 
really feels like a moisturizing kind of a formula. It sinks into the skin very quickly and it does not leave a lot of a white cast to my skin. So makeup application looks fine. It does not pill up under makeup. It does not seem to impact my foundation whatsoever. No issues at all. I've got this listed in my Amazon page. I will link that down below. Basically my Amazon page is just things I've purchased on Amazon that I love and work really well for me. Sometimes the cream version of this, which is this current bottle right here, is sold out. They have a gel formula as well. It works equally well. I prefer the cream because it feels a little bit more hydrating, but in terms of wearing under makeup, the gel wears under makeup very well too. I get whichever one I can get my hands on. If I can get the cream, I get the cream. If I can get the gel, I get the gel. I really enjoy this sunscreen. It's SPF 50 and it's also PA++++, which is the alternate way of rating sunscreens. The SPF 50 is rating the UVB protection against the cancer causing rays. Your PA++++, that's a system developed in Japan and it is rating the UVA protection. So four pluses is the highest possible protection. One plus would be you get some UVA protection, two plus is moderate, three plus is high, four plus is thumbs up extremely high. So this is four plus extremely high protection from UVA rays and UVB is SPF 50. Bravo, good stuff. Slightly less expensive from Australian Gold. This is the Botanical Face Sunscreen. It is an SPF 50. It's a tinted sunscreen, but I don't find the tint to impact the color of my skin at all, and I am pretty fair, so I don't have any trouble. This does have UV UVA and UVB protection. It does not have a PA rating, so I cannot tell you what that is, but it is a mineral sunscreen that works really well under makeup, and it's almost sort of a primer consistency, so if you wanted to go light and have less product on your face, you could probably get away with using this as your makeup primer because it is that sort of like... It, it blurs a little bit. It's a thicker consistency to it. Let me just show you. So it's sort of a creamy. And see, the tint is really not super dark. It's got some color to it, but when you blend it out, it really does disappear. This is a really silky smooth kind of a finish. I really like it under makeup. It's the only reason I haven't been reaching for it is because I'm crushing on this one. You know, it's new, shiny. Let me show you the texture of the UV. It's more of a sort of a cream. And it sinks into the skin really nicely too. Look how nice it makes my tattoo look. Once you've got your morning skincare and your sunscreen on, you might be tempted to use an SPF primer under your makeup. Go for it, girl. I have a couple favorites. And on the high end, my favorite is the Urban Decay Urban Defense. I'm about halfway through this bottle. Actually, more than that, because there's a giant air bubble in there. And this works wonderfully well under makeup. It is SPF 30, I believe. Yes, SPF 30. Does not have a PA rating, but it's a very nice gel consistency. It's like a silicone. Wow, this is emptier than I thought it was. It's got a, it's like a silicone based primer, but it's got SPF in it. So if you like a silicone based primer, those smooth, smooth, real smooth. How smooth? Real smooth. Is anyone watching the NHL playoffs right now? And that commercial with the Blackhawks where they're like, real smooth. It's a Gatorade commercial. Okay, tangent over. Good primer, good primer. If you want something a little less expensive, I am also a huge fan of the e.l.f. Beauty Shield SPF 50 primer. This is also tinted and again, I don't feel like it really impacts the color of my skin. My bottle's almost empty. I don't know if I have any left in here. Oh, I've been, I've been holding it upside down to try to get some out. Oh, cause I can tell there's still some left in there, but here's the product. And it, it's also primer consistency cause it is a makeup primer and you get a little bit more color, but very little really. I mean, I'm pretty pale and it works fine underneath my makeup. I don't feel like it impacts the color of my foundation at all. Boy, my hands are gonna be primed and sun protected. 
So now you've got your full face on, you're out and about. What do you do throughout the day if you need to retouch your sunscreen, if you're going to be outside? You surely can't go in and put more of this on top if you've got any powder on or if you've got your full face done. So let's look at some options for that. In the summer, especially when it's hot out, I really enjoy setting spray SPF. And my favorite is from Super Goop. It's the Defense Refresh Setting Mist with Rosemary. Now, this ended up getting a ton of bad reviews, but the trick to these, and there, I have a drugstore version that I'm gonna show you as well. The trick is you have to shake it up like mad, like crazy shake it up. Like there's a little dingy thingamajiggy in here and shake that mama, shake it, shake it shake it till the cows come home. You got cows walking up, then you're like, okay, I'm done shaking. You, you gotta shake this thing up. Shake it up really good. And I like it. It's got a very nice mister to it. Oh, it smells so good. I wish you could smell this through the camera. Oh, it's like minty fresh. Oh, my battery's gonna die now. <laughs> it's been a day, guys. It's been a day. Okay, fresh battery. This stuff is great. I absolutely love it. Now, if you don't want to fork out the kind of cash to buy some Super Goop, this is a new one that I found at Ulta. It is from the Ulta Beauty brand. It's a rose water setting spray with SPF 50. Again, shake it till the cows come home. And then... I don't like the scent as much, but it's not overpowering. And the thing with this one, the sprayer is not as friendly as the sprayer on this one. It's it's a much more fine mist out of the Super Goop. This is a little bit heavier of a mist, so you'll want to keep some distance so you don't, you know, water hose your face. But SPF 50, totally fine, reasonably priced, works for me. Oh, I left off one of my previous favorite sunscreens. This is the one I keep on my vanity. So if I'm doing my makeup well after my skincare, you know, hours later, and I need to put more sunscreen on, it's from Exuviance. It is SPF 50 PA++++. I really like this. It is a tinted sunscreen as well, but it's a super liquidy formula. Super liquidy. Woo, there it goes. It's flesh tone color. Again, a little dark if you have pale skin, but like I said, these things, they kind of blend away into not having any color at all. My hands are not getting sunburned today. Works well under makeup, does not pill up. I like that it's a super light texture. It's not like a primer. So if you don't want to have a primer feel because you're going to put a primer on your skin later, then the Exuviance is a good one. Now there's a brand, the same company that makes the Exuviance makes a lower priced brand. And I can't think of it off the top of my head, but I will put it on the screen right here. So I've always said that once I run out of my Exuviance, that's the one I'm gonna buy to replace it. Now, what if you have maybe oily skin and you need to touch up with a powder throughout the day, or you just don't want to do a setting spray, you'd rather touch up with powder? I have a couple options there. And the first one's from Super Goop, and I'm gonna say don't buy this one, or check it in the store before you buy it. So here's the deal. This is the Invincible Setting Powder, and this looked brilliant to me. It's SPF 45, it's 100% mineral sunscreen, and it's sweat resistant. And, you know, it's travel friendly. It comes with it in a little, you know, brush thingamajig. But here's the problem with this one. Now, supposedly they have remodeled this so that the newest ones you buy won't have this problem. But I just bought this less than a month ago. So I don't know where these new ones are because here's the problem. The little plastic spigot where the powder comes out goes all the way to the end of the brush. You can't brush this on your face without scratching yourself with this little spigot and the brush, oh, it, you, it, it, you can't, it just, it's, I don't like it. So if you can get the new one, supposedly the new one is totally fine. I can't get my hands on the new one. This is a total failure for me. So I don't recommend that one, but I was in Sephora a couple weeks ago and Tarte has one called Tarte Guard. It's SPF 30. It's a translucent powder with a brush and Sephora had a tester out and 
voila, you can brush it totally. And it's got a little pump the powder. There you go. Beautiful. Mm. Now the brush is not fantastic. The brush is very much, you know, pokey. <laughs> Oh, but I love me some sunscreen. But nothing's going to stab you in the face, and that's fantastic. So I would recommend checking out the Tarte version, their Tarte Guard SPF powder, because I can't say I'm into the Super Goop one. They really made me mad. There you have it, my take on my favorite sunscreens for summer 2018. Please, please wear your sunscreen every single day. Please don't be like me. Don't regret this. Don't. The thing is the aging won't show up until years later after the damage is already done. You don't even realize. You may think, oh no, nothing's happening to my skin. It looks beautiful. Yeah, that's what I thought too. And 10 years later, bam, yeah. Wear your sunscreen every day. Please, please, please do it for me. Do it for yourself. Do it for your face, please. If you enjoy these sorts of favorites videos, give me a thumbs up down below. Please feel free to suggest topics for my favorite fill in the blank here in the comments and I will do my best to get those made for you. This one was a recommendation from you guys as well. And as always, thanks a lot for taking some time out of your day to geek out over makeup with me. Tune in every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 9 p.m. Eastern Time. I appreciate your time and take care of each other. Bye-bye.